Hey, everybody, it's Saturday. We made it. And as we, as we have these, these days, been reading from the book of James, chapter 5 now, the beginning at 13. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up. If he commit any sins, he will be forgiven. It's funny, I have a hard time memorizing Scripture. You know, be able to chapter and verse it, look impressive. Can't, well, can't, but have a hard time. I know a lot of people are in the same boat. Kind of know it somewhat. Kind of know somewhere in the, to say gospel, what gospel is defining exact. Can't do it. Except right here from James. Probably know it so well because it's from the anointing of the sick, the sacrament. We use these same words. And I somehow came to my mind memorizing very easily, even before I, you know, did it multiple times. There's just something about it just stuck with me. So maybe God said you need it because in case of emergency, you don't have your book, you can't find it. You'll be able to say it right away. But the idea is that we have to pray for the sick, all of us to pray for the sick, for Jesus heals. I think sometimes we lose hope, we lose heart. I think all Christians, all those who believe in Christ, they don't got to be perfect. You're not going to be saints, not just the few of the exceptions. You pray in faith. You follow what James said. Let's pray for the sick and expect the God to work. It may not always be the way that we hoped or wanted and envisioned, but God's, God will be working in our life. So we pray now for that gift. So anyone sick, you ought to pray. Pray for them. Trust in God's love, his healing touch, his mercy. God bless you.